Meantime, Ambassador to the United States, His Excellency Sidney Colley, says students and employees in the Foreign Service are following the required stipulations. And he maintains that all is well at this time. Bahamian students throughout continental United States uh, are following protocols established by their schools, universities, and colleges. The, in the continental United States, the Bahamas government has about seven, about five regular consulates and three uh, honorary councils, one in Houston, uh, one in Chicago, and one in, Atlanta, in uh, LA. The regular consulates in Miami, Atlanta, Washington, and New York. Uh, the reports coming from all of them, as well as here in the mission in the District of Columbia, Maryland, and Virginia, is uh, no reported infection among Bahamian students and any of the uh, schools and universities. Over in Texas, the Eye on Bahamas organizations ensuring those studying in that U.S. state are safe. President of the organization, Carlisle Mott, is monitoring the situation. We have been in touch with several of our students. Universities have moved classes to an online forum for the week of March 16th through 20th. Most of the dorms and cafeterias will remain open until further notice. The schools and universities are working closely with the CDC and will decide the course of action as things develop. They could decide to hold online classes the rest of the semester or completely shut down campus. Universities are making the decision on a case-by-case -case basis. Some of the students have expressed the desire to return home. In talking to them, it has been discussed that they need to be aware that when they want to return to school, they might not be able to if the U.S. restrict incoming travel to citizens and residents only.